Good day folks. Welcome to part two of the rail fan ham shack. As you can see from the last video, um, we have the sides painted and we're starting to build the base using crumpled up paper. Um, the next step will be to put the plaster cloth over the top of the paper which will create the entire base. So basically the stuff you see here, the crumpled paper, basically how we do that is we fold it in on ourselves and just kind of go around in a circle. We almost make like a little puff ball, kind of like that. And then we go ahead and just fit it in where it needs to be. Um, after which we'll be using some tape here, tamp it all down, and then in the next step you will see how I use the plaster cloth to create the shell. Okay, so I've been working on the underlayment, if you will, of the bottom of the diorama. The next step is to put the plaster cloth over the top. Now if you can see, um, I kind of put in there's a little dip from front to back. Well, we're going to put a river through there. Um, kind of a place for these guys to wash their clothes and, you know, splash around and stuff like that. Um, so basically, this, you know, this is out in the woods. This is a ham shack out in the woods. No power lines anywhere. You know, this is a good place to operate, you know. As you'll see, the operating um, quarters is going to be an old caboose. That's why we call it the rail fan ham shack. Um, it'd be kind of cool to have something like this out, you know, out in the wilderness, away from everything, running on, you know, generator power. Um, that way you don't have power line interruptions or anything like that. All right, so we got the first coat of plastic cloth on there. Um, it's actually a Woodland Scenics product. And, you know, as you've seen in a previous um, or earlier in this video has there was just paper and stuff underneath there and I actually used some scrap wood from a previous um, scroll saw project um, on the right hand side there is actually where the caboose is going to sit where our ham operators are actually going to operate from for this special event station after you put the paper down as you see when we scrunch it up to make the basic shape then we put some plaster cloth by Woodland Scenics over the top to get the basic shape. Then what I did is I mixed up some lightweight hydrocal, also from Woodland Scenics. You know, mix it up and then put a nice smooth coating on the top. Now the next step, what we're going to do, um, which you'll see in um, the next video, is we're going to start applying the earth tones um, as far as the color. And then we'll start building off of that. Um, the grass, trees, and all that other stuff. And then what we're going to do is we'll take a break from building this part of it, and then we're going to move on to building um, 